I'm doing this shit on your interview, bro. These glasses, motherfucker, is $80, dog. Look at these bitches, $80. You would think that I paid, like, what, $1,500, $2,000? You think I really went to Hutch. You know what I'm saying? Niggas really think I went to Hutch with this shit. When they, nigga, this, this chain, nigga, $8, bro. Got it made for $8. My rent and mortgage is $1,200 motherfucking dollars a month. You think I got... You think I can afford that with five kids, bro? And being a supportive family, man? Look at me. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. I'm big weight. Uh, yeah. You resident. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of money on my schedule. On my schedule. It won't cost me nothing. Just no, the hell no, you. No, no. I'm big through my You already know what time it is, man. Detroit on fire. Man, I got my brother in this bitch. My nigga Dirty D. You already know. What's the deal, my Let's baby? Let's get it, man. <laughs> We've been locked in for a long time, bro. I'm talking about my first day at Lincoln. Yeah. He was there. Mm -hmm. 2000, 2000, what, 4? 6? Yeah, 2004, yeah. 2005. Yeah. 5. Yeah, yeah. Five. yeah. It was on 5. Hell yeah. Get it, man. Hell yeah. Why don't you introduce yourself to the people, bro? Hey, you already know, bro. It's your boy, All Star Meach, aka Dirty D. You already know. All, right, all my niggas from Lincoln. You already know what it is. Yes, you know what it is. We in this bitch. Let's get it. Why don't you tell people where you're from? Get them to enlighten you. Under, you already know, bro. From Slab Ave, you know, 6 Mile. No. I really. I really reside over there on Harper and Casual, you know what I'm saying? Okay. The deep, deep streets, you know what I'm saying? Like, got out of that shit, man, as fast as I could, though, bro. And I don't really want to brag about that shit, you know, because I done made it out. So, yeah. it's actually a good thing, you know? It's a great thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, sir, since you from Harper and Casual, you know. all that, what's your favorite Coney Island, bro? Yeah. Oh, man, it Coney. wouldn't even, you know, it's funny, it wouldn't even be over there in my hood, bro. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? I had to say Roberts, bro. Roberts? Yeah, for sure, bro. Like if Roberts? I had, yeah, bro. If 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 it was on a late night, like um I'm, I'm I'm super blown and everything. Oh man, I'm over at Nikki D's right there on A Mom Mom. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, hell yeah, nigga. What? Nigga? <laughs> Get that chili cheese fry, nigga. Yeah. A couple of them conies, nigga. No one. So what's the nature behind the name Dirty D? Oh, really, dude. dog. Man, dog. Seventh grade, bro. Back in seventh grade, G. Me and my nigga Titty Boy. Titty Boy from Grassy and shit. My nigga and shit. T Hawk, aka Terrence. My nigga, uh, we was in a flame battle, bro. This nigga was flaming the fuck out of me, bro, in front of everybody in the lunchroom. Like, you know, nigga, I got the thing. He called me Dirty D, like, out of nowhere. And it was all because a nigga used to get a lot of pussy. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 it was back in the days where that shit was a competition. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, bro. I lost my virginity at 11 and a half, G. Damn. Yeah, bro. You knocking bitches back in. Yeah, bro. It wasn't. The last project, you was knocking bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it in early, G. I got it in early, and it, it was all some crazy shit. Like, we was just in the backyard, and then, and yeah. we was, yeah, and it just happened. Like, yeah. you know, she was on the tree, and. Pull the panties down, I was right in it, and then stuck I got her ass. stuck her ass. Got the, man, got the digging in her shit, bro. 11 and a half. Hell yeah. Came quick as fuck, bro. Probably like, <laughs> <laughs> probably like 30 fucking seconds, bro. The first nut, nigga, you know what I'm saying? That was the very first nut, nigga. That's how you got the name Dirty D. Hell yeah, bro. Once yeah. I told that nigga that story, bro. You know, a nigga told me that at school, like, shit, you know, that's Dirty D right there. Introduced you. Yeah, that, that's what yeah, so niggas that nigga, that nigga name that shit stuck with you. Oh man, nigga, all the way through, like niggas to this day, bro. It's crazy. It's to this day, niggas still call me that shit on Facebook, bro. Like they know my whole name. They know what I go by on YouTube and shit. They know what I go by in real name. You smacking, bitch. Oh man, I yeah. was at yeah, I was at like fifteen plus, nigga. When I so it, like you, you, uh, you, you a father? Oh yeah, I'm a father. Oh. So you know the struggles. I yeah. appreciate everything you do as a father. My Not babies. even knowing what you do, but I know what a father do. Man. So I just want to give my hat off to you right now. Thank you, my father. baby. Thank you, bro. So, have any of your baby mamas came from the name Dirty D? Like, did you hit anybody, like, in a car or in a fucking gym, anything? Oh, uh, man, there's been plenty of females, bro. It was, it was, nigga, I used to have this one girl. I ain't going to say her name and shit. But I used to have this one girlfriend, bro. It was foul, G. Night. Ooh, look at yeah. that. No, I can't even do it, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? She probably gonna be watching this shit. But, uh, nigga, she was like, even even my boy know about it and shit, because we was just like, 
all the time. Hitting it. And then niggas was calling me dirty because they like, dog, she, she, she stank, G. She, 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 she foul, bro. She was stinking. She was stinking. Yeah, yeah, she was fouled on that, bro. You know what she was stinking? Bro, I was young, G. And it was more like, like, it was, it was embedded in her. I Like, I don't know, bro. Like, the, the shit just wouldn't go away, bro. Like, so you, you, you hit her while she was stinking? For sure. You didn't bro. give a fuck? At that point, nah, bro. Hey, cause I was I was going that was my girlfriend at the time, right. but I felt like I could help her. Get clean. Yeah, like I felt like I could get her pH levels back together and shit. Like, cause I felt that's what it was, but you know, bad bacteria so and shit. No, no, nah, nah, she oh, she okay. never went to Lincoln. No. Nah. Uh, Don't tell her. Name. I'm hey, I was about to say like, fuck, <laughs> dude. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, so have any of your baby mamas came from like? How many kids you got first? I'm sorry. Oh, no, you good, bro. You good? I got five of them, bro. You got five kids. I got five. How old are you? I am 30. You're 30. You're the 3 0. That shit five suck, kids bro. That, that shit go together. Yeah. Five yeah. yeah, you know. Damn. So, how, your oldest is what? About 12. Mm hmm. Right? Mm hmm. Yeah. My baby Diary is my pride, man. I yeah, swear, yeah. my sweetheart, dog. She's like, 12. I look. Yeah. Hey, your girl, bro. Is what? My, my youngest My youngest boy is eight months now. Eight months. So, you mm. just got up out of yeah, my big my dog boy. Kyrie's. Yeah, he still smacking shit. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who made you attract the, the white female, bro? How many yeah. white baby? How many? What's your race of your baby mama? I'm sorry. Uh, first baby mama's black. Second baby mama is white. Mm. Third baby mama's white. So you got two white baby mamas. Yep. And how is that as a black father? Um, you know I get criticized all the time, bro. Like. Niggas look at me sideways when I'm... Because, bro, the shit crazy because I take pride in my family. I don't give a fuck what color you are, bro. It's who sweeps me off my feet. Real talk, bro. It's just who sweeps me off my feet. I'm not really the type of nigga to just claim a race or anything because I'm black. As other people's preferences, as y'all, bro. But you know what I'm saying? That was a girl who was there for me and shit through the struggle. We squatted together. Mm, you know, squatted. yeah, we squatted together, this bro. Mean you live in a band, okay? Yeah, we, yeah. Okay. Simple, just like that, bro. Okay. For four and a half months in the worst winter in 2013. You was in a band, though. Mm-hmm. Only with, yeah, with my second oldest, yeah. I mean, you was smacking all the time. Oh, no, nah, bro. At oh, that time, it was just me and her. Nah, no, no, no. you good, you good. No, nah, the first time, it was just, you know, her moms and shit, they dipped when everything cut off. Best friend, bro. Best motherfucking friend. Yeah, I don't sleep. Bro, I barely sleep. I don't sleep, dog. Depression been my enemy and friend, bro. And it got me through shit and it put me in shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, when, when niggas say, you know, I'm fighting these demons. You say that shit because you've seen that shit on the meme. You really ain't. You don't know what depression is. You, you don't know... With being in a dark place is you go home and you instantly go in the dark. Niggas don't know what that is. You got a family right outside the room and you can't even, you, you so caught up on failure. So thinking about everything you fucked up on and, you know, everything that, that, that comes to mind, bro. I done had enemies, I done had demons, everything, bro, sitting right in the middle, everything right in the far back, like... She just it suicide. Like I never even been suicidal, G. Never until about two years ago, when my December thirty first, bro, two thousand eighteen. My daughter had a seizure. Bro, I lost my mind. Yo. That shit put me back in the depression. You know what I'm saying? Because you never want to see your kids shake. And thank God for my homie Andreas that was standing with me. We shout him out. Because he knew exactly what to do. And the crazy thing is, I didn't. You know, I was at work and he called me like, you know, laugh shaking. She ain't moving. My you know, heart dropped, bro. And I fell to the flow. Got up. Raced to the car, ran right to the crib, bro. My baby ain't breathing. Mm, my baby ain't breathing, dog. It's a fucked up, like a fucked up thought, bro. 
I'm, I'm crying, I'm screaming, I'm, you know, panicking, like, fuck is going on, what happened, you know what I'm saying, and he's just like, you know, I held her tongue out, I made sure she was good, I laid her flat down and all that, we about to rush her to the hospital, and from that point on, bro, depression ain't never left me, bro, bills, nonstop bills, they don't even want to look at the, don't even want to look at the mail, bro, that's how bad depression is, dog, because you know it's something bad. You know what I'm saying? You know when you when you behind on bills, you really ain't got nobody to depend on. Shit, man. These people don't even know, G. Depression gets you through some shit, bro. Real talk. It'll get you through some shit. Talking that real, bro. I can't even I don't let you speak your mind, bro. It's a hard you, feeling, bro. You um can you see yourself? My oldest? Yeah. Nah, bro. She won't even let me see him, bro. You know why? It, it, it's all because she and she played me, G. She she straight up she tore a nigga heart out. I wanted to be a family man at nineteen when I first had my son. The and, world's in your head from your mom. Oh yeah, yeah. You already know. Yeah. Yeah, real so, and She took my son away from me. I'm like, that's you know. The way they hit you hurt yeah, you. that that's the only way they can hurt me, bro. Cause I got no feelings. I don't give a fuck how nobody feel about me. I keep it real. I don't give a fuck. I'm the very last person on this earth to give a fuck about the anybody can or saying anything negative about me, bro. I'm a family man. I take care of my family. That's I'm a, matters, that's all that matters, bro. Love, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, um, she ain't never. She she won't let me see him, bro. You know, I've been out of court, all that, bro. She didn't raise child support on me and shit. I can't even miss days of work. I got to work seven days a week, two jobs. You got to work. I got to work, bro. All this shit, yeah, this, bro, is a, just a show, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fucked up on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. And then I know it's a lot of people. What that mean, fucked up on the inside? Because, like, bro, this, like, all this shit is, this is a mask, bro. You know what I'm saying? These glasses, this shit, this shit a mask, man. Hurt. Yeah, oh yeah, bro. Yeah, I ain't happy, man. I'm still taking baby steps on life, dog. I'm still, you know, baby, bro. yeah, bro. I'm still making mistakes. Now I can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I'm trying my best to get out of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you want to be able to pave the way for your kids because you don't want them to go through what the fuck you going through right now. Yeah. Overworked and underpaid, bro. You know what I'm saying? I... I would never want to see my daughters working for any any dude. Because I see these niggas nowadays, these managers, bro. They harassing these females and all that, bro. Looking at them, bro. I, man, I'm telling you, bro. I'm fucking around. I'm telling you, bro. Cut a nigga head off for of mine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's just that serious, bro. I got two daughters also. Oh, well, yeah. And I see you, bro. Same and way, bro. you upload daily. You <laughs> let people know, bro. You show that you're a father. Yeah, a lot of these father. niggas out here running these streets with responsibilities, bro. And they know it. You said they want to impress they niggas and shit, bro. Mm -hmm. and you can't look at me like I'm a lame. I take care of my responsibilities. So, bro, what do you say about, like, people saying you rocking, like, fraudulent, fake shit? You know what I'm saying? What's your opinion of that? Shit, bro. Everything fake, shit. Like, people out here, they do too much for other people, bro. You know what I'm saying? They live for others, bro. You know, you got people out here spending crazy amounts of money. For, for shit that you know you can't afford, bro. You doing that to stunt. You know what I'm saying? I would never in life pay $3,500 for no motherfucking glasses. These niggas is crazy than a bitch, bro. Crazy as fuck. Nigga, you know what I could do with $3,500? Put some stocks in, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Start me a little mini business. Get me some money coming back in, bro. These glasses, all this shit is a mask, bro. I'm not, I don't front for nobody, bro. I'm doing this shit on your interview, bro. These glasses... Motherfucker is eighty dollars, dog. Look at these bitches, eighty dollars. You would think that I paid like what fifteen hundred, two thousand. You think I really went to Hutch? You know what I'm saying? Niggas really think I went to Hutch with this shit. When well, nigga, this this chain, nigga, eight dollars, bro. Got it made for eight dollars. My rent and mortgage is twelve hundred motherfucking dollars a month. You think I got? You think I can afford that with five kids, bro? And being a supportive family, man. No way, bro. No way. And go all this shit, bro. You be the craziest motherfucker to ever spend that much money on anything in this world. They jipping you. Be smarter than that. Why would you spend that much money on something that's materialistic? I can break these bitches and say that I only spent eighty dollars. 
You, on the other hand, will break $3,500 glasses and be sick. I think you're on another level, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think you're on another level. For sure, bro. I don't think niggas can actually come to agreement with you because they're not on that level. Mm -hmm. So you good. Yeah. They'll call me frauds, bro. Even after this video, I might get comments in there. You know you on level, yeah, bro. for sure, bro. You, bro. Mm, thank you, bro. Who, uh, who, fuck with you, bro, nigga. Leave people a message, bro, who uh, all start meet you is, bro, before we exit this interview. Who are you, bro? Uh, I'm an entertainer, a family man. That's number one. Be there for your family. Don't give a fuck about nothing else in this world. And I'm not saying this to boost for this interview or nothing. You man the fuck up and do what the fuck you got to do for your family. That's it. I don't give a fuck what you got to do. You got to donate. Don't be fucking afraid to go fucking donate because other motherfuckers going to talk about you. Don't be afraid to go fucking to the thrift store because you can't afford clothes. Don't be afraid to do any of, uh, any of that shit. Because if anybody see you in those stores, they in that bitch too. What they going to say to you? They saw you in a fucking thrift store, they in a thrift store. What the fuck they going to say to you? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You, buy with, you do what the fuck you got to do, bro. And you live for yourself. You live for yourself. You buy. You see something you like. I don't give a fuck if it's from China, Iraq. I don't give a fuck where it's from. America, USA, it don't matter. If it's something you like, you buy that shit, man. You a hundred niggas, that, they won't buy a lot of shit, bro, because the niggas will talk about you. Niggas got that embedded in their head. They scared to be themselves. They know they really don't want to spend that much money on some shoes, but they got to because they got to put on this front because they scared of what other niggas going to say about them. That's not me, bro. I don't give a fuck, G. I care about what my family think. And if they love me, that's all that matters, bro. I'm going to die a family man. Not a, not a street nigga that was trying to impress other niggas that live in their basement and shit. And they, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that, bro. I pay twelve hundred dollars a month, and that's not to stunt or boost or anything. I live in a motherfucking. I live in a mobile home. You know what I'm saying? But it's mine. That's a lot of people' problems. They won't buy a lot of shit because it's raggedy. They got to get a a charger because they got a Hemi in it. They only got to get a charger because they got a Hemi in it. They won't buy a regular charger because they don't got a Hemi in it. They won't buy a mobile home because niggas might talk about them. But they don't understand that in 2020, it's hard as fuck to survive, bro. It's hard as fuck to pay these fucking bills. Don't act like y'all ain't fucking behind on y'all fucking bills. Everybody is. Don't boost like you ain't. Everybody is behind on their bills. It's hard out here. Niggas is only making 10 to $13 an hour and you can't survive off that. Don't try to act like you can. Stop pretending that people can live off minimum wage because you know you can't.